I started wearing skinny jeans at 14 and going to charity shops and I was seen as a weirdo. <laughs> All right, babes, it's Bimini Bamboulash here from RuPaul's Drag Race UK season two. And I'm here to talk to Dazed all about my favorite pop culture fashion moments. And I can't wait. I think my first standout show is Joan by Alexander McQueen. And I remember that distinctly. And it's always stuck with me because it's like, the, the alienness of it all, like the freak, like the models were quite, um, they were stunning and beautiful, but there was something quite alien-like about them, which I always, I always loved. The Joan collection by McQueen was actually one that I used for inspiration for one of my promo looks for Drag Race. I remember seeing the particular collection a few years ago, I think, where she was actually inspired by bacteria and that kind of like life form of growing and that runway where the outfit moved kind of in that way of like looking under a microscope. And I remember taking inspiration from that and thinking, I really want to do that for the prehistoric. And I'm so glad it read as Iris Van Herpen to a lot of people. People got the reference straight away, so that's good. Maybe they didn't get bacteria straight away, but if they didn't get it straight away, read a book. <laughs> I think for drag inspirations and one of my all-time favourites is the 95 Mugler show. That's always such a go-to because it was just so camp, but so elevated and so high fashion as well. It's so many reference points for a lot of drag queens because it was kind of the over-the-top silhouettes and shapes and the, the models on the runway were... There was a lot of like older women, which was just so great to see. Like they would just look so stunning. Um, so that's always been one of my favorites. I think as well, uh, 95 Vivian Westwood will always be one of my faves. Um, I also loved 98 Dior when Galliano was doing it because it was kind of so outrageous and over the top. And it was kind of when fashion was taking a lot of risks and also seeing kind of like Kate, who's one of my complete icons, just always tearing it up and just looking gorgeous. Kate is an icon to me, and I think because um, we sound a bit alike, <laughs> but she was also, she wasn't, she wasn't what fashion was going for at the time when she came up. Like her look was so new and so fresh. She was also shorter than the other models. Her face was a lot different, but it was so striking and stunning. And she was just killing it. Oh my God, my style was all over the place in high school because I came from a small town. So I started wearing skinny jeans at 14 and going to charity shops. And I was seen as a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> so people would like give me some stick all the time and I wasn't even doing anything outrageous I was wearing like top man t-shirts and a pair of skinny jeans so it wasn't like pushing boundaries but I guess in my hometown at that time like no <laughs> no boy was wearing skinny jeans and then moving to London and just realizing that oh my god there's so much more to fashion and the world and life and people can walk in London and East London, like, you can wear what you want. You can wear a bin bag, you can wear a lamp on your head, like, it, it is what it is. Obviously, the early noughties, and the mid, early noughties to mid noughties when Paris was just rocking about in her Juicy Couture tracksuit was such a moment. She was, like, the it girl of the time and such a kind of poster girl for that fashion movement then. And everyone was owning the Juicy Couture tracksuits. And then it has that weird thing where fashion has that 20-year rule where things are cool and then they become not cool and then people wear them ironically and then they come back in fashion and that's kind of having a moment now again Juicy's having such a moment and Paris is back shooting with Juicy and wearing the collection too again and it's just so fab to see how it like comes back round and I've always loved Juicy Couture so I think it's great that everyone's rocking the tracksuits again one of my favourite eras of Madonna is the 2000s era of music just after Ray of Light and I feel like Madonna's fashion references a lot of like the cowboy hats and like the, the low-cut jeans and just like she was just having a fab time and it really resonated with what she was wearing and the style she was going with and i think it's pretty timeless so to me the fashion in the late 90s and early noughties was just so chaotic on runways in particular like 
think of Britney and Justin's denim outfits and just people really not afraid to kind of experiment a lot. But one that really stuck out for me is in the late 90s when Rose McGowan walked the runway where, with the kind of shredding at the back and the stones at the front, completely kind of nude with the leopard print thong and the dark hair. And it was just so iconic because it was just like, you're practically nude on the run, the, the, uh, you're practically nude on the red carpet and it's amazing. But also the message behind it, where she spoke about taking control of her body, this is her body because of kind of what she'd been through and using that to kind of be like you to everyone. I will say I got on to Diana quite late. I was very young when the tragedy happened with Diana because I was never a royalist, so I wasn't really like an advocate for the royal family. But I actually realised that Diana was the opposite of that. She was kind of the antithesis of that. But the moment when she steps out in that revenge dress with the plunging kind of the low neckline and the like, black skin tight and she just looks gorgeous. It was just such a moment for a princess to be doing because she knew exactly what she was doing. I would love to walk in a Vivian Westwood show. One of my favorite pop culture and fashion moments was the crossover of Vivian Westwood and Pamela Anderson in, the, in 2008, 2009, that time when she became the face of Vivian Westwood because it was just like, groundbreaking in a sense because no one like Pamela Anderson had ever kind of walked a runway show. I think you never appreciate the time that you're in and I've always grown up and each each decade I've always been like oh, I would have loved to have lived in the 70s, I would love to live in the 80s but I do feel like I would have loved to have been me now in the late 90s, early noughties just because I think everyone was having fun. I'm under a microscope, you're looking at a Petri dish and the bacteria is floating down that runway. If you don't get it straight away, Read a book.